good? Welcome to my beginner friendly Lightspeed e commerce tutorial. Lightspeed is a platform that you can use to create an e commerce website for completely free. You can also use it for a point of sale and so much more. But for this example, I'll be showing you how to use it as an e commerce platform. So the first thing you will need to do is go on to lightspeedhq.com. Once on the website, you're going to go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to select free trial. After selecting free trial, you'll be redirected to this page and you can select e-commerce. So you're going to tap on start now. Once you have tapped on start now, you'll be redirected to this page on which you can create your account by signing up with Apple or Facebook or Google. So you can select whichever one of these options or you can simply enter your first and last name, email address and create a password. So let's say for example, I were to sign up with my Google account. Once you're signed up, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And this is how your Lightspeed e-commerce dashboard looks. The first thing you will need to do if you're planning to do drop shipping, you can go over to the left hand menu option, scroll down and select apps. If it was a case that you are planning to sell a physical product or so on, what you would do is go over to the left hand menu option and from there you are going to hover over catalogs and you could select products and from here you could manually add your product by tapping on add new product. You could upload the pictures of your product and name. But let's say we want to source our products from AliExpress, so we are planning to do drop shipping. To do this, we are going to go over to the left hand menu option, scroll down a bit, and we are going to tap on apps. After we have tapped on apps, from here we are going to be redirected to this page, and we are going to tap on the search bar in the top left hand corner, and we are going to type in drop shipping. After typing in dropshipping, you can see the different dropshipping apps that they recommend. Since we are creating our e-commerce store for completely free, I'll be showing you what to use. But if it was a case that you wanted to do print on demand and light speed, you could select Printful and you could use that app. But we are going to be using SUP dropshipping to create our dropshipping store. As it is an app that you can use for completely free. You are going to tap on install, then you are going to tap on install once more. Once you have done that, you can see that it has now been installed. You can open up, so we'll tap on open up. Once on this page, you have a few options. The first thing you could do if you want to, for example, do print on demand, you could select print on demand, or you can simply type in the type of product that you would like to add. So for example, let's say I would like to add a car related product. I could type in car right here, then tap on enter. After you have done that, you can see the different options. So let's say for example, I would like to start selling the car box seat fan. I could simply tap on that. And then from there, I'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, I could quickly scroll down, then tap on list it to your store. After you have tapped on list it to your store, you will be redirected to this page. Once on this page, you can select the different variants that you want and you can enter a price. So for example, let's say I would like to sell this product for $25. I could type in $25 right there. After you have done that, let me go back real quick. So I'm going to tap on list it to store. I'm going to type in $25 right here. After you have done that, you can view the images. You can also view the product title description, and then you can tap on list it now. After you have tapped on list it now, the product will be added to your store. I'll also be showing you another way you can add products to your store. So you could hover over my sub in the top right hand corner, then select dashboard then you'll be redirected to this page and this is where you'll be able to monitor your sales and transactions. You could tap on find product from the left hand menu option, then select imported products. After selecting imported products, you could paste in your AliExpress product URL right here. And that's another way you could add products. 
now we are going to go back into our website so we are going to go back so now that we have added the product we are going to go back into our website and if we were to go over to the left hand menu option hover over catalog and select products you can see that the product has been added right there and we can delete the sample products by simply tapping on delete all sample products in the top right hand corner then select yes and you can see the product that we have added right here you can see the mock-up images you can scroll down and you can edit it to your liking and you can further edit your website by hovering over design from the left hand menu option you can design your product page to your liking and you can design all images and everything to your liking you can also set up the different payment method that you'd like to offer for example you can connect paypal and other payment options you can also set up free shipping if you want so you could tap on shipping and pick up and from here if you'd like to offer local delivery or self pick up you can do that you can also offer free shipping by simply tapping on add shipping to set up shipping all you'll have to do is simply tap on view all carriers then for example let's say i were to use usps after you have done that you can see the different options so you could tap on set up with usps or you could set up free shipping as you can see right here or you can offer shipping at a flat rate after you're finished doing that you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on website once you have tapped on website from here you can tap on edit site and then you'll be able to view your website and after that you can see right here you can choose a template of your liking so let's say for example this template I could tap on use template then from there you can edit it so you can make any editing changes you want once you're finished you'll simply tap on preview in the top right hand corner to preview how it looks so you can see how it looks right there then you can publish it and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe